Hey guys, Leif here from uh, iTech. Today I'm going to show you how to download the uh, latest Konica Minolta driver and how to uh, install uh, a Konica Minolta printer. So first thing we're going to do is to download the driver. So if we Google Konica Minolta driver download and select the link for the download, We then select our product. Just note that this is on the uh, Australian website. Uh, it might be slightly different depending on your region or where you download the driver from. I'm going to select my product, C250i. Select that. Click on Go. And uh, scroll down. And this is where you want to select your printer driver. So you can narrow the search here by uh, choosing a operating system if it doesn't come up automatically. I'll select Windows 10 64-bit. And I'll expand the driver I would like to install. So I'm going to new install this new Universal Driver version 4. And I've got one option there. I'll click on the Download button. I'll accept the agreement. And the one we want to download is the top one here. So I'll click on that one. Wait for the download to complete. I can now close this screen. I'll click on show in folder. So I've got my download there. I'll right click on it and extract all. Extract. And now I've got my driver download extracted and just note where you've got the download saved. And we'll now go on to the next step, which is adding the printer driver. So I'm going to go into my settings. Uh, click on printers and scanners, or I'll just go back home. When you go to settings, it'll be like this. You go to devices, printers and scanners and we want to add a printer. So for this step, what you do need to know is the IP address of the printer. If you don't know what the IP address of the printer is, you can go to the printer. That's probably the quickest and easiest way to find the uh, IP address. Click on the utilities button and device information, and you should see the IP address on the printer. Once you've got that, we can hit add a new printer. And try to avoid the automatic install of the printer. You want to do it manually. So you click on the printer uh, wasn't listed. Click on this link here. And select add a printer using a TCP IP address. Click next. Uh, change the auto detect device type to TCP IP device. Type in the IP address of the printer. 184 in my case this is my IP address make sure this button this checkbox is unticked click next click have disk click browse this is where you want to select uh, where you downloaded the printer so browse the folder I've got the download link there double click Double click, double click again on driver, and I've got 64 bits, so I'm going to go into there. Double click PCL6 and double click the driver. Then we hit OK. We click Next. Uh, you might get this question. You can just select Replace the current driver if you already have it installed previously. Click Next, uh, give the printer a name. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, Test. You can call it whatever you like. Click Next. 
Uh, if you want to share it on the network, you can change this. Otherwise, just leave it as do not share. You can choose to set it as the default printer and print a test page to make sure it's all working. And hit finish. And you're now done.